Okay, hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I took this photo. I've had, I've had quite a few people ask me how these shots were done. Um, and there's quite a few of them, uh, all with different kind of levels of lighting. So I'm just going to take you quickly through how I made these images. In fact, scrap that, I'm going to make one of these images just now. Okay, so... Okay, and what the final image is actually made out of is these two fairly simple photos taken um, with the Fuji S5 Pro with ISO 400, so quite noisy on that camera. Um, it was very, very dark, and it's also only at, at a thirtieth of a second and f2.8. Uh, there was also a slight problem because the photos were taking quite a time in between each other and these are just the two photos. No editing done to them whatsoever yet. Okay. Okay, first thing we need to do is start doing some HDR images. With that we'll use Photomatics as TIFFs, uh, some brighter, some darker. Okay, and that's what the HDR image is giving us. Uh, we're going to really want to have to change this now. Uh, okay, so that's me kind of got the look of the image uh, for the HDR image of this shot, uh, which I'm quite happy with. Now we're going to do an HDR image of the background shot, where the person is coming out of the, the background. We also put a flash in the fire. If you look in here, you can actually see my SB900 in there. It's got a red gel on it, and uh, that gives us a look to a flash, or to a fire inside there. So let's work on that now. Okay, and here's the second image. Let's go to tone mapping now. I probably need to make this a good bit brighter. This one's also going to have a much less uh, saturated look to it, so let's bring the colour saturation down to about 30%. Okay, let's keep it there. Okay, and here I've got both the photos into GIMP. Um, unfortunately, they're not totally in the right position, so I'm going to have to do some slight moving about of things. For example, look at where the chair is and where the uh, candles are. So what the best, probably the best way is to move the candles so that they're in the right location. And that's just with the move tool. Okay, and that's fairly close. That's where I'm going to uh, try and work with it from. Okay, so that's me uh, done a little bit of adding of the background and the foreground image and also done a little bit with the curve adjustments as well. Uh, the last thing I want to work on is the necklace, because that's what this image is all about. Uh, if you notice here, there's a necklace there, and if you notice here, there's a necklace in the model's hand here. So what I want to do is highlight the necklaces in both of these people. And to do that, what I'm simply going to do is go, uh, and what I'm going to do is go to uh, New From Visible. So it'll make a visible layer, so if I get rid of the other two things, I've still got this whole image here. So let's just zoom out a bit more. So now we can actually work on this image here. In it, I'm going to make instantly make another duplicate. And on this duplicate, I'm going to increase the colour, or, or the brightness. Going right up there. Got it going silly high. And this one, we're going to add a layer mask, and we're going to make it so that you don't actually see this layer, and I'm effectively just colouring back in uh, the necklace. So go to back, full transparency. So this is the image that's underneath, and with the paint tool, we shall go in, and we, well first of all, we should zoom in first. To there. And this is very much pixel editing.
Okay, so that's the editing done in GIMP. Let's save that and then let's have our final work in Adobe Lightroom. So file. Okay, so that's pretty much the shot done. Let's see if there's any, I think maybe adding a slight vignette to it would be a good idea. Okay, and that made me pretty much happy with that image. There, that's it. Oh, actually, it's not. One more thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of colour to the smoke that's here. So in that, I am going to go to saturation. I'm going to use a colour. I'm going to give it a green. Well, maybe not like that. Okay, and that's it done. I hope you liked. Cheers. Bye-bye.